Hola mi gente bella y bienvenidos a mi canal. My name is Sandra. If this is your first time here and welcome to my channel. In this channel, you'll be learning and I'll be speaking about everything high-end or luxury candle making business tips. So in today's video, we are going to be doing like another vlog type of video. So you'll be watching me um, do something in relation to my uh, business. So um, uh, we're going to actually extend that mini uh, clip that I did yesterday. And um, in that video, I only briefly, like super fast and explained what I was doing with the BOPP uh, machine, which is actually a hot plate and um, how I wrap my product. So um, I know throughout the video I was talking about well, in this video, actually, um, when I get to it, um, I'm going to be talking about um, uh, the BOPP paper and the difference between that and a shrink wrap. So shrink wrap is actually cellophane paper and cellophane paper uses heat to actually shrink the paper. And well, it's actually a film, not a paper a film to adhere to the actual product or whatever it is that you're trying to wrap with that film. On the other hand, we have the BOPP paper, which I cannot pronounce what the acronym for BOPP is, so I'll put it on the screen below. And that paper or film is actually um, a stretchy kind of paper which also um, activates with heat. The difference between the cellophane paper, which is the shrink wrap paper, and the BOPP paper is that the cellophane paper shrinks and the other paper doesn't necessarily shrink as opposed to the cellophane, but it does activate with heat, which means that it kind of glues itself with itself, if that makes any sense. So the cellophane paper, which I have which I have an example here. This is the cellophane paper and I use this to wrap um, uh, soaps in and this one is a little bit rigid compared to the um, BOPP paper which is a lot softer and it's not as rigid as this paper. So when you wrap with cellophane, um, and you use a heat gun to activate it, it actually shrivels up on the packaging and you do feel the rigidness of this paper and on the sides also, you could you know touch it and you'll see the difference. If you have cellophane uh, paper, you will tell the difference between a um, BOPP paper, which kind of wraps like perfume bottles so I've used this and this, and I like the feel of this because it actually looks a lot nicer when you wrap uh, your products in as opposed to using the cellophane paper. And obviously I have an example of both. So this is my um, packaging that I will show you how I package I don't know if it's focusing because I can't really tell, but I don't think so. Well, anyways, well, this one is how the paper looks. And as you could tell, well, you can't really tell, but if you have a perfume bottle and you touch the actual packaging, which is the plastic clear paper on top of it before you purchase or before you um, open it up, you can tell that it's not rigid. It's not, um, uh, I guess like it's not shrunk to the packaging. It's just, it looks like it just sits on the actual packaging, like I guess tape, like a tape around it versus the cellophane paper, which actually shrinks. And you could tell by the corners of the paper that it does shrink and it is rigid and it is a little bit harder. I don't know, it might be me, the one that don't know how to do this correctly, but if you are a soap maker and you do wrap your packaging in uh, cellophane paper, let me know if this is how you're supposed to look. But um, I might have probably have a paper that was oh, a film 
cellophane film that was too big for this soap itself so maybe that's why I have this excess on the ends but um regardless of the fact it is a little bit much more rigid than the paper that you will find when you use um the BLPP film as opposed to the cellophane the good thing about both types of papers well the ones that I've researched is that they are both um biodegradable and they are um recyclable especially the one that I use from this particular company um that I would be putting down on the screen and I'm also going to reference it um, later on in this video and I'll explain that to you as well. So um, yeah, so the papers that I use for my products, they're all biodegradable and they're also recyclable so you can recycle um, the, the things that I use in my business. So I guess that's why it's expensive because I do use sustainable products in my business. I mean, which is good, but it is expensive. But yeah, so this is what I'll be showing you. Well, this is what I'll be showing you in this video, how I wrap this product um, and a little bit. So this is the product that I'll be wrapping up in my box. And um, this is my room spray. And this room spray is the chamomile rose room spray, which smells very heavenly, if you may ask. Um, and it is a very luxurious uh, bottle. This is why I picked it. I'll explain that a little bit also later on in the video. And um, I really do like this scent and it does come with a uh wait no it doesn't come with candles because this one is an actual uh room spray so it doesn't have any candles it doesn't have a candle scent um yeah it doesn't have a candle scent hmm. i might make this into a candle maybe in the near future not right now because I have a lot of my plate, but yes, this is a very nice scent for your home, and it does uh, makes a very good decorative item, and it looks like a perfume bottle. So I liked the fact that it could double as also um, a fragrance. So that's why I chose this scent and the bottle because it looks very pretty, and I like it pretty, and it also matches with my. Uh, branding so this is why I put this container the scent um, it's very very nice it does eliminate odors in your home and it brings a very nice floral scent to your space so this is why I picked this uh, bottle and this scent so my next uh, piece of equipment is my a uh, hot plate, which I kind of refer to my BOPP machine, which is not a BOPP machine. It is a hot plate. I used to use something similar to this when I was um, in chemistry and I was teaching biology because, you know, we had um, uh, labs and we had to use hot plates. And this is something similar to it. It was not exactly like this one, but I did use a hot plate. And the reason why... Um, this machine or piece of equipment is used as opposed to using a heat gun is because it distributes heat evenly and it does not blow out air. It just has a heat source, a continuous same level of heat source throughout the plate that you could use to um, wrap your actual uh, products when you use this as opposed to a heat gun. Um, you might be able to use a heat gun with um, packaging the BLPP paper, but I, I highly do not recommend that because it didn't work for me. And it was just a mess trying to hold the paper in place with one hand and using the heat gun with the other. It didn't, it didn't compute. It didn't work to my advantage. So that's why I did not use it. And this is why I purchased this piece of equipment and I will get to it also in the video how much it is where to get it and if you want one you could always um uh you know stick around 
for an actual update on where I find or where I purchase this piece of equipment. So let's put this away and let's get into the area in which I'm actually going to be filming the rest of this video because it is not going to be in my office space and neither is going to be in my um, warehouse slash office slash um, product area storage or whatever. Yeah, it's not going to be in my garage. So we're not going to my garage. We're actually walking all the way over to my second living area, which I converted. Well, not technically converted, but which I use right now um, for um, picture taking, which you guys have already seen in my photography video in which I show you how I take pictures. And um, yeah, so we're going to that space, which is over this way. So let me get my camera ready. Let me put this away and we'll go over to my uh, space. So again, we're not doing anything here. We're going over to my living room area. Yeah, I guess. Yeah, so that's where we're going. And I'm like walking backwards. So hopefully I don't, oh man, Romeo just got into Romeo. See that? Romeo. He did that. And guess whose fault it is? My fault because I forgot to, um, where did I leave this? He was eating at the table. So he jumped, he jumped on the table, took the paper, but there was nothing in it. Anyways, now I gotta clean this up. Okay, um, so I'm cleaning this paper up. He's a little dog, but he's a little bit mischievous. So, um, yeah, this is my area. So we're going to be filming right here I already have everything set up so yeah and this window behind me had a blind which is on the floor now it broke yeah I was pulling it so that it could be even because you know I have kind of like an OCD and yeah pulling it and it fell so we're gonna blame it on my husband I didn't put it on there correctly so it's not my fault it's his because he didn't put it in there up correctly so now we're here in my area so I'll be getting everything together so give me a few seconds and we are going to be starting in three two one okay so we are going to put these bottles and it's going to be eight of them hopefully i could do all eight i have more but for the video purposes we're only going to be doing eight and these are the eight bottles and these are my luxury room sprays that i'm going to be packaging up and i like to have them ready prior to selling them so that at least i have a few to go so i could just you know go like this while um packaging orders so and i've had i have these stickers which i had made for these but um they don't fit properly on the actual bottles because of the way that this bottle is made it has like a little lump here and also it goes over the actual outer edge of this bottle and the company that i chose to do this sticker i gave them this bottle so that they can make the sticker exactly to fit this um bottle but i don't know what they did so they're supposed to be making me new ones that fit the actual bottle. So hopefully 
they get here in time. If not, they're going to be sent like this with it um, without any labeling, which I don't want to do. But I think I'm going to have to do that in the meantime. So, yeah, we're not going to add this to the actual uh, bottles because it doesn't look right and it doesn't fit. So we're going to put that to the side. But what I am going to be using and here is these uh, PVC clear uh, shrink wrap, which I'm going to add to each one of these. And I can either leave the perforation, which is right here. I don't know if you guys can see that right here on the actual front. Or I could put it to the side. Um, I think I want to put it to the side and then have the containers look like this, right? So I'm going to do that for each one of the bottles. I like to have a space in between the actual lid and the top of the bottle because um, I did this earlier and when I did it, I did it too low. So when I used a heat gun to heat wrap this together to it, um, it didn't look right or you could still open it. So it didn't make any sense. So that's why I'm going to do it over. Good thing I only did one and not all of them. So I'm going to put this at least this way up the bottle. And I'm going to do the same thing for the one that I just did put in there too. So that they all could be consistent. And it's always good to put these to the side because if you leave it in the same area as you're using the heat gun, they will all shrivel up because, you know, they get activated by the heat. So after you're done, put it to the side. So now I'm going to use my heat gun, Genesis heat gun, which I purchased from Amazon uh, maybe about a year ago. And it is used up, as you can see. I used this quite a lot. So I'm going to heat wrap all of these so that the actual paper or the PVC paper band could adhere to the actual bottle. And this gives it like a little extra level of security and um, privacy, I guess. And also, it looks nice once you have this bottle already completely sealed. So that's why I like to put it on there. And um, prior to me putting these together, I should have showed this on camera that I actually had uh, used my alcohol, isopropyl alcohol to clean the actual bottles before I added these. So a lot of, a lot of prep work prior to this video. So let me go ahead and heat wrap these and all of these and get back to you guys. Okay, so now they're all they're all done. And this is how they all came out. So this one is called my 
chamomile rose um, room, room spray and obviously because my line is luxury I wanted to make it look luxury I didn't want to use the uh, regular bottles and I wanted to make it seem as if something that you could actually put around in your house and it looks like a home decor item as well so that's why I chose this bottle with the gold top obviously because that's my colors gold and uh, white and again I'm putting the label because it doesn't fit on there but the label will be on the actual box itself so I'm also going to put the box together and the box is going to look like this so this is what the box is going to be looking like And before I do the boxes, because the boxes looks like this now, I have to put them together. So let's do that. And we're going to do all eight of the boxes so that they could go inside of each of these uh, bottles. And also I'm going to be putting together the insert because these boxes were just a tad too big for my liking for these bottles so that's why i had inserts made for these bottles and we're going to put them together so that they could go inside of the boxes along with the bottles So I'm going to give it one last swipe with the alcohol because I kind of manhandled all of these bottles and I don't want my fingerprints to be on every single one of them. So I'm going to wipe these down before I put it back in the box itself. Okay, maybe I should have put this first in here. Okay, so, hmm, oh, revelation time, maybe I should have done this first. Yeah, that's not going to work. Okay, so, kind of did extra work. Let's see, but this is what goes on and you have to make sure that you're doing it correctly and i have to put my finger in here to take out the insert because with long nails i would have broke the box out so i'm gonna use this and i have to undo everything that i did do so that i could put this through here Okay, so another revelation. Um, I kind of figured out that um, these weren't really doing too much for it. 
I mean, it did held it in place, but then when I tried to put it into this, it kind of caught because this one didn't come out that great. So if it didn't work, I'm just going to take it out and put it in there without it. Because it kind of didn't do much because it just came right out. It's a learning process. I'm learning as I go. So I'm also adding one packing peanut. This is biodegradable packing peanut so that it could be much more secure inside of the box. And I don't want to hear that little movement in there. So, and plus this is glass and I don't want it to break. So that's why I'm adding one packing peanut inside of each of these boxes. So these are all the boxes. So these are all the eight boxes that I'm going to finish off. And if you want to look at the boxes just one more time, a close 55 milliliter luxury home spray here in Miami, Florida, my logo right on the front. I love this little detail that um, my supplier added to the bottom and the top of the box. And I also have the ingredients right here and it's 1.8 ounces. And obviously the warning label, do not drink, harmful if consumed and is 36 months. It's recyclable, the bottle plus this actual box and it is flammable. So I had to put those three on the bottom. Um, what I did do for my other box, which I had featured in my other uh, quick little short video, I wanted to add my website to the bottom of this one, but I completely forgot when I did it and I didn't realize it. So it's too late to put it now, but I am going to add it to my next batch when I do run out of these box boxes and also um i'm going to make sure that these the boxes that i ordered the new ones will be a little bit much more uh smaller than this one because this one was a tad too big that's why i needed that insert in inside of these bottles and plus since this bottle is shaped kind of odd it's not a complete um rectangle or square my husband is watching football and um, that's why it kind of moves a little bit. It's not that much, but it does uh, move a little bit in the bottle and uh, well, in the box because it is an odd shape box uh, bottle. Okay, so now, and I had to remove some of them because some of them didn't even um, stay on while I was putting it through that little insert hole. So yeah, only four. The other ones did go through. So, okay, so I'm going to, I'd already cut these off camera and these are the BOPP paper that I explained to you guys at the beginning that I'm going to wrap every single one of these in my box, well, on my box. So I should have eight. The only uh, drawback to this process while doing it at home is the fact that these papers are not pre-cut. It comes in a roll. You could buy the entire machine, but the entire machine was like over thousands of dollars and I was not gonna do that. So we gonna buy them in a row and cut them. Uh, also the remainder of 
this when i cut them i could use it to wrap these little uh boxes so it's not a big waste but um it is kind of like a hassle because the page the not the page but the the roll is a little bit too big to cut with uh scissors correctly i'll just get into the hang of it when i um do more so i'm trying to cut a large amount so that when i do more so when i need more i don't have to cut one by one when i need them so i mean if that makes any sense i guess that's what you call the organization and i like organizing so let's go ahead and do these so i'm going to move this out of the way When you're working with this, you want to put them to the side because you don't want them to get heated because they do get activated once you put heat to it. So never put these papers next to your any heat source because it'll either melt or dissolve or whatever it is that they do. So um, with this one, we're going to get my bopp machine wrapping machine i have no idea what you call it but um we're just gonna call it the bopp machine for now so i'm gonna put this to the side and i'm gonna get the machine okay so i have not turned the machine on yet that's why i was able to just handle it any kind of way um, I did try to do this with the heat gun before and with the heat gun it kind of does not work because I'm blowing air with the heat gun and um, this is a paper that you're supposed to wrap your actual merchandise product in and if you're heating it with a heat gun although it may work um, I didn't see it didn't work for me if you have it at home and you're using this paper to wrap your boxes with um let me know how you work with the heat gun because with the heat gun i couldn't not use it at all it didn't work so that's why i'm not using the heat gun although you can but i'm not but um and the heat gun was too much heat because you can't really control how much heat you're providing to the actual paper because it has to be a controlled heat and it has to be very low heat and the heat gun either is very high blowing air or low heat and it didn't do what i needed it to do at the time that i needed it to do it so that's why i had to purchase this machine and i got this off of amazon um i cannot remember how much i paid for this but oh okay look so the actual um machine it's uh i don't know if you guys could see this so. this is not focusing guys i don't know what's, okay Okay, so if you guys could see it, I don't know if you guys could see this, but it says that is a wrapping machine, cellophane wrapping machine, manual. Okay, so it has a very long name for BOPP. Cigarette is not, well, I guess you could use it for that, but I'm not using it for that. PVC heat sealer. So um, it's $50 on Amazon, and you could save $5 now with Prime, and it has free returns. And these is what it looks like on the picture. So it's not very expensive at all. And it doesn't bring those BOPP paper, but I had to purchase this from another company and that company was very expensive. So, okay, so for the BOPP paper, I got it from this website and it's XOPA x zopax i guess dot com and they have a variety of papers to choose from and they also have the machines um you see this was very expensive so 
And you can see 1395, 1495, 1795. So obviously, um, the machines to actually roll the paper and cut the paper, and it comes attached to this hot plate machine. Not specifically this one, but it's something similar to this. It's um, the whole shebang depends on which machine you want. Do you want the tear tape with it? Um, the size it also um, comes along with that. But um, I just wanted the paper and the paper, uh, well, the film, when I purchased it, it was $185. But now the prices went up. So now the price is a little bit much higher. And then if you click on here, you'll find where to find the paper, well, the film. And it tells you the width, the standard thickness, allow two to three wicks unless it's in stock. And um, it's a clear paper. It's food degradable, it's food grade, and it's recyclable. So the paper that I purchased from them, it's recyclable. So and then you pick whichever thickness you want in the roll that you want. So the thickness plus the width of the roll. And the one that I picked was 14 inches. And um, obviously it was kind of too much. It was not too much, but I mean it was just too big. So I'm probably going to, uh, when I run out, it's a very big roll. It's 5,000 um, sheets in that one roll. And... I might not even use all of them, but regardless of the fact, when I run out, I will be purchasing the smaller one, one that I could work with and easier to cut. And this, I still don't have it on. Um, this is what it looks like. And these are the arrows up and down to come up or down on the temperature that you want the machine to be on. It is electronic, it is considered a hot plate, so make sure that you handle this with care. All I have to do is turn on this dial here, and it turns on, and I had it already set. And the good thing is that once you have it set, it stays there even though you turn it off and on. And right now I have it at 128. I could lower it if I want, but I'm going to leave it at this temperature, 128. I don't think you guys could see that because it's not even there. But once the green is 128 where you set it, but once the red goes to the 128, it is ready for you to use. I don't think it has a little noise, like an indicator noise, to indicate that it is already at 128 degrees. But I'm going to just gauge it and make sure that I'm there once I get there. Okay, so we're going to start by heating up this. And the reason why I'm heating up the box is because it helps the paper adhere to the actual um, box. So heating it up kind of works. Okay, so now that it adheres and you can see that it's on there, um, you want to just fold the ends inwards. All right? Okay, so this is a lot easier when you have three hands, but I only have two. So we'll make do with what we have. And you got to slide it in there to get that hot enough to heat it up so it can stick. 
okay okay so it's stuck so now what we're going to do is the same thing we did to the bottom we're going to do it to the top and and again slide it in there this is pretty hot and then this is what you got and i made some label stickers to go right on top of the paper so it can look kind of you know with more authenticity so and then i'll be doing this seven more times because this is number one that when you use the heat gun um, it shrinks the actual paper and I don't want my paper to shrink so maybe that's why I didn't use the heat um, the heat gun because this one is not shrinking the paper it's just making the paper stick together like glue This is too long, as you can see, I'm gonna have some issues trying to get that um, folded at the top. This is just too much paper to tuck in. And I had to lower the heat only because I wanted to make sure that I could leave the, um, the paper on the hot plate a little longer than I needed to just in case I wanted the extra heat to adhere to the paper and the box. So I'm gonna make this work but let's see. So yeah, I see like the extra paper, but I made it work. And I had an extra one that I had already did uh, before and I'm going to just write since I had an extra paper. Okay, so now I'm going to turn this machine off. I'm going to put it to the side and I'm going to show you the finished product. And 
this was the extra one that we did last, or uh, one of them. So these are the finished product. Um, as you can tell, I put my little logo, sticker logo that I did on my Cricut. And I think it turned out pretty good considering the fact that this was my, I think it was my second time doing this. The first time was just practice and this was my actual, actual making each one of these. And actually, no, wait, this is my third time because the first time was, well, it was today, but um, it was that short video that I did that I have up on my page. And this is something that I wanted to show you guys how I did this. And it's not very expensive to get again the uh, plastic or clear P BOPP paper was $185. Now it's more because obviously they had to go up in price as inflation everywhere. And the machine was $50. I don't think I purchased it for $50. I think it's on sale now. I think it was a little bit more when I purchased it and that was from Amazon. And then the product boxes, if you saw my previous um, video, I already told you where I got my product boxes from and it was from Rainbow Packaging and they did all my boxes and my logo. I came up with it myself. I did that on Canva and then they came up with this little detail at the top and at the bottom of each of the boxes which i really really liked and next time um for my other boxes i am going to include my website at the bottom so that you and um whenever you give this away to anybody they'll know exactly where to purchase it because bam it's going to be at the bottom so uh, this is going to be it for this video i hope you enjoyed watching me work around packaging uh, my entire process from beginning to end if you want more of these videos let me know don't forget to like comment or subscribe to my channel and also hit that ding notification bell so that you could be in the know of my next video so i'll see you in the next one Bye, mi gente bella.